Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. CSIR exam is fast approaching now. It starts from 5th of February 2024. So in this video, we are going to talk about paper 2 of stage 1 examination. So we know that paper 2 is going to be conducted in afternoon session. So what to do in these last 10-15 days? Basically, hardly 10 days are remaining. Those who have exam in 5th to 10th february slot but those who have exam after 10th of february so they are getting quite a good time here so before starting the discussion with paper 2 if you have not downloaded your admit cards you can go to this link here and download your admit cards you will realize what date on which day you have your csir exam so in morning paper 1 will be conducted for Two hours duration and in afternoon paper 2 will be conducted for two and a half hours duration so now talking about paper 2 so it has total eight sections which we can see here the syllabus is given here or broadly we can say the topics are given here so total 25 questions will be asked from these eight sections each 25 each from these eight topics so there will be 200 questions for 200 marks and you will be getting 150 minutes to attempt these questions now how should we approach this or what should be the preparation in these remaining days so here i will be suggesting you few important topics from every part and you have to cover those parts in these remaining days and remember uh, they have release this uh, sample question papers so if you have gone through the sample question papers you will realize that the exam will be mostly on easier to moderate side paper will not be that much difficult it is basically that in less time you have to attempt maximum questions and every question or every mark matters here because to be getting interview call in case of section officer post you'll have to score maximum marks and in case of assistant section officer merit list is going to be prepared based on the cumulative marks of stage one and stage two so your target should be to score maximum marks in paper one and paper two now if you see the topics here first two topics are reasoning and numerical ability so here we have intelligence reasoning and mental ability 25 questions and arithmetical and numerical ability 25 questions now understand here uh, these two topics which i have listed here that is reasoning and mental ability. So there will be total of 50 questions for 50 marks now remember this that this will be the stronger side of mostly banking and ssc aspirants so they are quite good at this so if you have not practiced enough it will consume your time in examination so what i think is you should not devote more than 40 minutes to both these sections and the thing is they are very highly scoring sections that is with good accuracy you can score maximum marks here almost people can score here 45 plus marks if they are quite good in both reasoning and numerical ability so what i would suggest here is to practice daily for one hour each just see the topics which are given in the syllabus and just complete those topics or make a set of 20 20 questions each and try to attempt those 20 questions in let us say 15 minutes every day so like this you can work on your speed and uh, syllabus completion so remember out of 150 minutes you should not give more than 40 minutes here for both this section because remaining 110 minutes can be given to attempt the 150 questions which are left from the remaining six topics so that is what i think is the best suggestion here if you are able to attempt this section in less than 40 minutes then you can devote the remaining time to other sections for uh, other purposes other topics so what are the important topics here so if you go through the previous question paper of csir or even the sample question paper which they have released so i believe these are the important topics which at least you should cover in these remaining days so there will be questions on series and coding and decoding so series it can be your alphabet series or it can be your numerical series so questions are quite easy just it requires practice then coding decoding blood relations venn diagram seating arrangement very simple questions will be asked from this topic 
and space visualization analogy based questions number and ranking so these are the important topics here in case of reasoning whereas in case of aptitude the syllabus given is very straightforward but do prepare these eight topics diligently so ratio proportion profit loss percentage simple interest and compound interest time and work time and distance mensuration and data interpretation these eight topics you have to cover in the remaining days and try to solve or work on your speed while preparing these chapters or topics from aptitude so this is what you have to do remember you have to attempt these 50 questions in less than 40 minutes that should be your target while attempting paper 2 now coming to this science so in science we have a total of let us say four components so if you see the four components we have physics chemistry biology computer and it so in physics the chapters listed are very straightforward just use your lucent gk book and try to complete the topics and solve some mock papers so what topics you have to cover heat magnetism sound light that is optics part and electricity so here we have ohms law and all those things so try to prepare these topics and as far as mechanics is considered just go through the newton's laws chemistry if you see the syllabus they have mentioned where a very vast syllabus but still try to cover these topics of so periodic table atomic structure proton electron neutron then radioactivity metals non metals in electrochemistry chemistry so these are quite important topics which we have to cover in chemistry in biology if you see the sample question paper they have given a question from cell like who coined the term cell for the first time so it was robert hook so cell is one of the most important topics in biology then you have to prepare plant kingdom and animal kingdom then human physiology so here we'll have your all those circulatory digestive nervous system what we learned in biology or science and then health and nutrition in health do prepare the important diseases their symptoms and in nutrition just try to remember the important vitamins if vitamin is lacking if there is a deficiency so what disease it causes so these are some of the important topics as far as computer and information technology is considered you should be aware of the fundamentals of computers so fundamental itself carries a whole lot of meaning here everything is covered basically from the evolution of computer to the functions of computer cpu what does it do alu then your uh, how it uh, how computer works your hardware software then some important computer languages as well then we have this wi-fi lan everything is covered here then just read about the basics of email and word and powerpoint so that will do in science portion so science is very scoring but chemistry we have vast syllabus try to complete physics and biology and computer topics in remaining days as far as economy and environment is considered remember both of this will be having a total of 25 questions so total 25 questions will come from economy and environment so economy just go through Munal sir's handouts learn about microeconomy macroeconomy economic policies of the government that lpg reforms then growth and development that's can this chapter can be read from ramesh singh book then what is mpa g double i india's ranking in various indices simply if you google you will get all these details and then read about sustainable development here sustainable development goals millennium development goals these topics are to be covered apart from things just have a look on banking chapter as well banking finance and taxation and budget that also can be read here as far as environment is considered ecosystem ecology ecotone those important definitions at the start of environment these are quite important then learn about pollution so here we have air pollution water pollution sound pollution so learn about pollution what are important pollutants then what health effect it carries so you have to learn here then important acts which are framed by government to tackle or combat air pollution then what is air quality index so these topics you have to cover here and then we talk about flora and fauna so you should be aware of the important flora and fauna of or basically the biodiversity and then the conservation efforts the government is taking so here you should be aware of the national park wildlife sanctuaries 
then ramsar sites these topics may be asked and natural disaster is mentioned in syllabus so you should be uh, you should be having some sort of basic information about earthquake tsunami or volcan volcanic eruption so these are some natural disasters so just go through them now moving on to ethics so ethics is quite important it is part of our upsc syllabus as well so ethics is very easy what you can do here for reading this topic you can either refer the red book of forum is or you may refer atul gar sir's class notes they are quite good and just try to cover these topics that is essence and determinants of ethics human values then dimensions of ethics and reformers various reformers what idea they put forward here in ethics definitions are quite important you have to cover the important definitions because if you see the sample question paper released by csr there also you will see that many questions are framed on the definitions related to various terminologies of ethics so that is you have to cover as far as decision making is considered what they have told us a problem statement will be given and you have to identify the best possible solution so just see the sample paper released by csr you can see there that a three four line statement will be given you will have to read that statement and based on that you have to find out or identify the best possible solution now this decision making is easy as such but it will be time consuming because for 25 questions you will have to read the statement properly you will have to analyze the problem what problem is being given in the question and then think on the best possible solution so nevertheless this is easy but it will be time consuming so here you can devote at least let us say uh, around 18 to 20 minutes to attempt this decision making section in examination as far as management is considered so principles of management is a very important topic that is staffing controlling that are the important topics then what i think is important is communication leadership what is there in our management then motivation so there are various theories related to motivation so who gave what theory what was the essence of their theory and what are leadership qualities then procurement and stores and inventory management this is also quite important in management so at least try to cover these topics in remaining days and as i already told you you can cover these topics from the nios source which link i have shared already uh, munal sir has compiled these pdfs on his website and from there you can download and read about this management remember this management is a purely theoretical topic but it is very easy to score and for geography everything is important everything whatever they have mentioned in syllabus everything is important straight away will be getting 25 questions from geography and it is a highly scoring topic the geography is a highly scoring topic <clears throat> so learn about the basics of india the latitude longitude india's place in the world and the other important things about india then the physical features so here you should be aware of the himalayas and all those things then rivers here himalayan rivers and peninsula rivers so if you see the sample paper released by csir you will see the questions based on rivers as well so which river is originating at what place from which state it is flowing what is the name of that particular uh, important waterfalls which occur on that river then climate and vegetation is important minerals and industries so just prepare a table which minerals are found in which states and uh, which state has highest quantity of minerals so this can be prepared then agriculture so what are important kharif rabi crops in india the position of agriculture in india we know that india is an agrarian economy so it plays a very important role in our economy so learn about agriculture and then prepare the miscellaneous topics of important dams then rivers or national highways which are passing through india then the important waterways so questions can be asked from here also so this is what i wanted to discuss with you regarding paper 2 so paper 2 will be actually a game changer because eight topics you have to attempt in those 2.5 hours so everyone will have different strength and weaknesses out of these eight topics it is that how good you are able to attempt those 200 questions in 150 minutes and remember this you have to attempt aptitude and reasoning questions at the last 
because if you try to attempt those questions at the beginning it may consume your lot of time and then you will come in pressure or you will realize that now less time is left to attempt the remaining six topics so that should not happen because these two topics require practice and only practice can help you here so all the best for your exam from my side do well if you still have any doubt you can comment here i will try to answer to your comment thank you for watching the video stay tuned for more updates